hello everybody welcome to my channel i thought i'd do like a mini haul not a lot oh i almost fell off my chair that would have been funny oh, i'm so cold oh i just want to put my pjs on Ooh. all right so some stuff i already put away i'm just too lazy to go get it um you have probably seen it on other videos but one of them was this is the broom, that's the name of my business, Broom Closet. Um, there's a lady that's making pillows and tarot bags and crossover bags for your tarot cards, oracle cards. So she designed this for my business, which opens up tomorrow, Halloween night. Um, so in the back, there's a spot that you could put crystal in. There's a little crystal in there. You can put herbs, oils. It's a uh, pocket. A bit too small for my big amethyst that I have, but yeah, I love it. She did a really good job with it. Um, so that was the first thing. Then, a friend of mine uh, was telling us a little story that her and our best friend Jackie, who passed away last month, um, a while back, had bought um, this one crystal called Adamite because her son's name is Adam. So she's like, oh my god, I have to buy that for him. So they bought a whole, they bought some, and they didn't realize that. They thought it was going to be like three pieces or something, like four pieces. It came with like, like 30 pieces. So she was clearing out her own home, not my friend's home, but my, her own home, my friend Avril, and she found the box of left of Adamite because Jackie had taken what she wanted and she had the rest. So she brought it to book club on Monday. We all got to pick a piece of Adamite. And it's funny because Adamite um, is a really good stone for grieving as well as connection to the spirits. So this is the one. It actually looks like a uh, little house on the prairie, you know, like the wagon that has a covered wagon top. That's what it looks like. Hold on. This way. That's what it looks like. Um... Well, maybe I can hold it up against this. Can you see that? I hope so. I hope you can. Oh, yeah, you can. I think it's really beautiful. So that is my piece of Atomite that I got. What's that? It says Atomite right there. Then I went to the thrift shop today. Because I was looking for a certain thing. My husband's mom passed away a few years ago. And she, I, he remembers her by having, um, around Christmas, he would remember that his mom would have like an angel on top of this tree. Now, usually I have a snowman on top of my tree because I love snowmen. Um, but he has asked for an angel. And we, every year we look, so it's pretty vintage. And every year we cannot find the angel that he's looking for. So today, I thought, oh, I'm bored. I'm just going to go check it out. So we went to St. Vincent Paul, and they ended up putting up their Christmas stuff. It looks like they were putting it out, like, either yesterday or today or something. And I seen this box, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that's the angel he was talking about. Um, number one, I never realized that it said porcelain on it. So it's porcelain face, porcelain hands, which I didn't even realize. Um, so I brought it home. It was five bucks or something. But I brought it home because I was hoping, oh, I hope that's the one. So I gave it to him. And I said, uh, is that what you're looking for? You know, is that kind of like what you're looking for? And he looked at it, he's like, oh my god, yeah, it is. Um, he goes, it is what I'm looking for. So we took it out of the box, we plugged it in, and it works. So this is what it looks like. I'm not going to take it out of the box. It's hanging about to come back in. But that's what it looks like. You see that? But she's got, like, in between her hands here, she's got, like, a light. Sorry, something just popped up in my screen there. So yeah, so I ended up getting in that. So he's very happy now that he has an angel for the top of the tree. Um, then at the same place, I got the magic sleigh bell. So I was thinking maybe the book club could read it, but uh, I can't find it anywhere. The only t where you can find it is Amazon. I haven't checked book depository yet, um, but Amazon has it for Kindle and it's free. Right? It's called The Magic Sleigh Bell by W. Peter Elliott. 
It was two bucks. So the back it says, um, the magic sleigh bell, a wonderful holiday story for everyone who believes in the magic of Christmas and those who want to believe again. The discovery of a tiny bell marks the beginning of a young brother and sister's efforts to get their family into the Christmas spirit. But when the boy disappears, his sister and parents enlist the help of the community. And even Ooh, sorry, and even the bell's rightful owner as they focus their efforts on the search. Share the magic with your family. So that's, I thought that was cute to read for Christmas. I love reading little um, Christmas books and stuff. So yeah, got that one. Then I seen this and I thought, oh my gosh. Um, you'll, you'll know exactly. Hold on, let me take off the sticker so you can see the full. It was only a buck as well, so. There we go. I thought that was perfect. I could hang it up all year round. I love it. It's like opaque. It's really cool. I thought that was pretty. Did a really good job on it. So I got that. Um, then the last thing I got. I hate when they put it. I don't mind when they put it on the top. On the bottom of stuff, right? But when they put it on the top, it really sucks. Like the stickers, price tag stickers. So I love having candles with the holders. Um, usually you don't have a lot of space on it, right? Usually, uh, I was trying to see where it said it was made. It made in England. Um, you don't have a space on the bottom to put a lot of stuff. This one. Um, it's perfect. Like you put a candle there, but look at the space on it. Like I could put crystals there. I could put blacks in. I could put eggshells. I could put herbs. Um, like it's like it's like I can do a healing. You know it's, what I love is the fact that I can do Reiki. I can do a healing with the candle and put um, drop names on here. You know a little piece of paper with names on it is perfect, and I love it. Like. There it is, and there's where you actually rest your thumb on. It's awesome. I love it. So that is that. Then today, I get... Uh-oh, I got, st got stuff on my table. Um, we got a little box in today. What's in the box? So it's fine for my husband. He's like, ooh, what's in the box? So I untaped it because I didn't finish um, I'm doing it all. So there's like bubble wrap on the top. <laughs> my husband starts opening it up. It was so funny. He's like, ooh, what's this? So he literally opened up my box. It was pretty cool. It's from Mystic Dragon's Lair. Because I bought crystals when I won. went on Jennifer Willowin's channel. She had like a crystal sale for this company. No, I'll just put it here. There we go. So it is Mystic Dragon's Lair. Crystal Rock and Gem cell Sales. And then it says www.mysticdragonslair.com. And then the Facebook is Mystic Dragons Lair. So I will find the information and link it below for you guys. So uh, the first one is... Now I can't figure out... Okay, I started laughing. So I thought, oh cool, they sent me a ring. But then my husband's like, are you sure it's not to hold that? And I think that's what it is. Oh, it's cute. Uh, so the first one is Rainbow Obsidian Sphere. And I'm just using this. I'm hoping that you can actually see it. It's, pr it's pretty dark. Like, it's cool. I love it. Um, and then I bought a Clear Quartz Point. They said there was a chip on it. I took a dollar off because I noticed there was a chip on it. It's very minuscule, but it's like right there. You can see like the tip is gone, but I'm okay with that. But isn't that beautiful? Hold on. They did a really good job of that. I love it. Like, love that. There we go. That's really cool looking. I like it. So that is my little haul. There's nothing else. That is my little haul for today. You guys have an amazing day. Blessed be. Bye-bye.